hey, I just got a message from my wife. I was getting ready to do some shipping and she said that the post office just showed up with a bunch of boxes. So that's good. I need a few more and looks like we got a bunch of stuff and I'm happy the post office gets anything delivered because I've just had another message. This makes three this month of items that are stuck in limbo. So I'm gonna have to deal with that today. Let's check this out. Look at this. Bubble wrap, boxes, more boxes, and a rotten little cat. Hum boots. Yeah, you're rotten all right. But the viewers love you. Somebody has to. Reagan's in charge of water and plants on the front porch. Looks like I gotta get after a little bit, huh? What do you think? Look at that thing. That's a pretty flower, but that thing's gonna die. As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we are in the cabin. I have a bunch of stuff that's sold, but I'm not gonna ship it all out today. We're gonna wait a little bit to ship out some of it tomorrow because I have two days shipping set, which is really, really nice, at least for me in the summer. It gives me a little bit of flexibility. A lot of times in Q4, I will go down to one day shipping because I want that stuff to sell and I want it to be really appealing for people for gifts but for right now it's two days for me so I have a little bit of leeway but I want to talk about something else for just a second and ask you what's going on out there for you guys I have had three items three things that I've shipped out this month that are in like postal limbo matter of fact shipped them out last month but I'm dealing with them this month so I've had three of them I don't think I've had three items in limbo like this or three lost items like this in this way in five years. These items look like they have gotten all the way almost to their destination and then the last leg they can't be completed. So two of them in California, which I think is interesting, maybe because of what's going on, may have affected these things, but I doubt it looking at one of the locations, although it's possible in the other, I suppose. So I wanna know out there, have you seen an uptick in these lost items? These items that the post office hasn't delivered or has serious delays in delivering. The one I saw today was last scanned in on May 22nd, and it was scanned in at a local post office ready to be delivered, and it just never did. Let me know out there if you're dealing with that at all. I have had to deal with it more in the last month than I've had to deal with it literally in years, so let me know. But in the meantime, let's take a look at what's sold today. All right, here is an item that I love to sell this stuff because it's so easy. This is a vintage Reebok pair of shorts. And they're swimming trunks, I guess. I don't know what you call them, board shorts. I don't think they're really board shorts, I suppose. Let's see what we have in the listing. Yeah, it says running trunks, swimming trunks, shorts, board shorts. <laughs> Got them all in there. It's always good to stack your title, even if it's not entirely accurate. As long as it's close, you're going to get more eyes on it. I'm not advocating lying out there. I'm just advocating anything that anybody might look up because everybody out there doesn't know what every single thing is called. And sometimes I put lined. I put lined in this one because the swim trunks are lined. And this is a vintage pair. And I like to pick these vintage pairs of swimming trunks up wherever I can find them. If, you know, they're like 50 cents or a buck. I don't like to pick them up at Goodwill all the time. I will if it's a really nice pair. But I remember picking these up. I think there was two others almost identical to them, different colors with it, 50 cents a piece at a sale. The other two sold off last summer and this one took forever to sell, but it did sell. It got caught up in our sale, sold for $16.96. You know, if you pay 50 cents for something like this, they're really light, it's around a $10 profit on something like that. All right, you're seeing some things at the bottom of my death pile sale, thank goodness. This is a Uniden CB radio and it's over $12.95 plus shipping and I really don't mess with CBs unless they're like the really good kind or unless they're really new or maybe even a famous one like the one you'd find in the General Lee or something like that. But other than that, I really don't sell too many of these, but I've had this one at the bottom of my death pile probably for two years. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna list it. I'm gonna put a great price on it and I'm gonna get it sold. $12.95 plus shipping and it sold within a couple of days. Another LU shirt from the $2 Walmart retail arbitrage. So for $14.95, which makes it around a, almost a $7 profit. And this is a size small. So this is our worst profit item 
out of those 150 shirts we bought and we're still making about seven bucks so do the math on that it's gonna be like a 1200 to 1450 dollar profit and i got them all pictured and listed in the same day so that's a pretty good profit for one day's worth of work plus two to three minutes of shipping times 150. either way you slice it it's really good money all right we have a babar and an animan going out this is going out to a viewer let me read you what they wrote they say I'm new to your videos and I love your collection. I just bought one other thing and you can ship them in the same box. And this is, of course, the other thing to go on with that Babar. So, Sheila, thank you so much. And this will be an interesting one because this is first class and this is obviously first class. Putting them together probably puts it right up to priority mail. And they're both free shipping on the listing. So it'll be interesting to see. I bet if we put this in a poly bag, we're going to get first class out of it, like 15 ounces or so. And if we put it in a box, we're going to go priority mail. So, Sheila, you might be getting this thing in a poly bag. It is completely plush, so you're not going to see any damage. And I appreciate it, and I'll uh, throw a couple stickers in there for you, Sheila. And thank you. You're new to the channel. And thank you for watching and coming over. Let us know where you came from. We appreciate it. Did you find the video on accident, or did somebody send you? So this bad bar, by the way, has been sitting over here for quite a while. I got this one from the Goodwill for a dollar so i figured that was a pretty good buy but it didn't sell for a long long time it's been sitting right there and it finally did sell 14 dollars and 88 cents and then of course the inaman to go with it so thanks so much all right speaking of viewers here this granger didn't last long i think it lasted one video right there matter of fact this one right here this guy right here which you'll see in a future video here coming out either sunday or Wednesday. I didn't have them in here very long. I need to title this. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to do it in just a second. I need to title this sale because it was a really good one, a really fun one, a retiring eBayer and a extreme social distance garage sale, which you've got to see and it'll come out either Sunday or Wednesday on the Commonwealth Picker channel. This one didn't last long at all. It's a really nice tin in really good condition. I had this listed a couple bucks above other people because mine really was in pretty darn good shape here. I put it out there for $14.95 plus shipping. And Keith, who seems to pick up all of the interesting things that are on either of our shelves, either in here or in the eBay cave, grabbed this one. And Keith, we do appreciate it. And he says, hello, Kevin. I saw this in your store and had to have it. I'm glad you're getting more coffee mugs. I missed out on the first one. And I hope to get one before you run out again with the second batch. God bless you and your family, Keith from Minnesota. So keep an eye on that store, Commonwealth Picker Store. We are going to put some in there here pretty quick. And I might stagger it this time into two days, I think is what I'll do. I'll put a posting on Instagram, I think, and we'll release the first batch. And then we'll, of course, announce it on a video. It's coming out in the next probably two to three days. We're going to put those last 50 mugs over there on CommonwealthPicker.com. And when you do hear that, when you do go over there, if you haven't got one already, a dollar from every sale is going to go to charity. At this point, I think it's still going to go to St. Jude. I think because it's the same mug that we did that last time, Reagan wants to still do St. Jude as her charity for this particular item. And then we'll close that item out for good and we'll move on to another one. So thanks so much if you already bought one. And those will be over there in the next day or two, I think. So CommonwealthPicker.com. And Keith, thanks so much. And he also got two more items. These Liberty coffee mugs, I don't know, travel containers. Uh, it's $5.95 each plus shipping. So $12 plus shipping on those. And we'll put it all together and give you a little bit of a discount on shipping. So Keith, thanks so much. We do appreciate it. All right, another one. This one doesn't have a bracket amount. You'll see in the sides of these, they have these little brackets. And you're always better off when you find the ones that have the brackets so people can mount them. You know, <laughs> I used to have a CB radio when I was in college. A couple of buddies of mine, we all had, this is before cell phones. I know it's hard to believe. It really wasn't before cell phones, but it was before everybody had a cell phone. And a few buddies of mine would drive around town and we would have our little CB radios. <laughs> it was a strange feeling for a Southern California boy. I think it was uh, definitely, I was out of my element for sure back, back here in Virginia. At any rate, Maxon MCB 30. And this one sold for $12 plus shipping. And I'm happy the CBs are gone. And you will rarely see me pick them up anymore unless they're a really high priced one or in really great condition because almost all the time you have to clean these things and they're a lot of work and the money on them has gone down rather significantly. So I'm glad it's gone. Also had another small LU polo that I just saw but I forgot to pull it 
and you don't need to see another Liberty Polo. It wasn't a high price one, like nine bucks anyway. So thanks for joining us in here. We're going to go into eBay cave and have five or six things that we're going to ship out of there. And then we're going to get a homeschool hustler out here and show you what's sold out of their store. And thanks again for joining us. Let's go inside. Hey, I forgot to give you that new garage sale list we're going to keep track of. $50 buy, and I'm going to call it the exact change garage sale. And by the time you see this, you haven't seen it yet. It'll either come out on Sunday on Commonwealth Picker or Wednesday. And so we've already recouped $12 of our $50. It sold for $14.95. So after fees and all the other stuff that goes along with it, $12. It's a little, it's probably a little bit more than that. But we're going to put down $12 for that Granger 10, thanks to Keith. And we'll keep track of that sale along with a bunch of others. And along with the Estate by the Lake, which was last Wednesday's episode that came out on Commonwealth Picker. And if you have a better name for the Estate by the Lake... For that garage sale where we found the G.I. Joes and the micro machines on Commonwealth Picker. Uh, if you have a better name, put it in the comments here and maybe we'll uh, figure out some name for that one as we start selling that stuff off. And no, I have not listed the G.I. Joes. I think what I'm going to do is make a video of me going through them. Like, here's number one, here's number two. I've had so many people out there tell me, hey, that one's called this, that one's called this. And instead of me spending hours doing the research, I figured I would tap into the resource that we have out there because so many of you know those G.I. Joes really well. And I'll just say, hey, what's this one? What's this one? And you can comment as I go through them and that would be easy for me. And it would also let you guys out there know what's there because I've had a lot of people offer. I've had three or four people offer to buy all the micro machines. I've had people to buy all the G.I. Joes. And I really want to kind of go, I don't want to one-off all of them, but I want to pull the three or four best ones out and sell them separate and then maybe sell the rest off in a lot. So at any rate, the exact change sale, 50 bucks into, who knows, we'll see. Watch that one on Sunday or on Wednesday next week. All right, I have four of these going out to Chris, Sandy, Will, and to Josh. And Josh left a note. He says, thanks a lot, all caps, exclamation point. I love your content. You've helped me out a ton getting started. I just recently opened my eBay store and loving every second of reselling. If you could sign and pass one of these on for good luck and give my eBay store a shout out. Looks like the Divine Elf. All one word, the Divine Elf. That's an interesting uh, eBay store name. So we definitely will do that. Just have a little local history you might like to learn about. Uh, look up Eugene Sabina, Ohio. He is a man they displayed and tried to find his family all he had was a note of, of a vacant lot. Keep up the great content, the Divine Elf. I'm a history guy, so that intrigues me. I might just take a look at that. Not really a mummy per se, but Eugene is one of the small fraternity of unclaimed bodies displayed for decades in 20th century funeral homes. An African-American male who was found dead in a ditch outside of Sabina on June 9, 1929, Never positively identified and dubbed Eugene by law enforcement officials, a scrap of paper in the dead man's pocket yielded an address to a vacant lot in Cincinnati. A still-living man in the house next to the lot was named Eugene. Sabina's Littleton Funeral Home embalmed the corpse and displayed it in a small adjacent brick building, hoping for eventual identification. Eugene became a popular spot for Cincinnati slash Columbus buses to stop for passenger leg stretches. And it was always possible for someone to recognize him and identify him to give him a proper burial. 35 years later, he was still a local tourist attraction and a target of pranks and collegiate kidnappings. Each time Eugene was retrieved and returned to his quiet showcase, Eugene was finally buried in Sabina in 1964. Thanks, Divine Elf. We appreciate it. All right, getting down low on these, 12 more to go. The Intruder, Grumman A6E Intruder. This one went for $8.91 free shipping. No, I take it back, $8.94. All right, I got one of these going out to Alan, and Alan says, I've been wanting one of these for a while and finally decided I need to have one. <laughs> I just need to have him. Love your channel and learned so much from you. Been selling for quite some time and I'm looking forward to the end of man's luck. And if you would sign him to Susan and Alan, I would really appreciate it. Keep up the awesome videos. Thank you, Alan. Video Guy Alan on YouTube. Video Guy Alan. And Alan is spelled with two A's. All right, we'll check you out. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate it. All right, I picked up this new edition cassette. It was kind of the last era of cassettes when this one came out. So this wasn't, you know, 
an incredibly mass-produced one. Should be late 90s and 1996, so it's not as late as I thought. At any rate, I picked it up at uh, Dirt Road Treasures down in Bedford, which is also where I bought the 1500 Enemen, FYI. And I bought it for 50 cents, I think, and it sold for $9.81. Free shipping, and it will go out. Well, actually, it won't go out media mail because it's under four ounces. And a lot of times you are better off doing first class if it's four ounces or under than doing media mail. If nothing else, even if it's first class to say California and it costs over three dollars, you're still better off. It's just a few dimes, you know, it's no big deal even if it's going that far away. If it's going somewhere close, it's actually cheaper than media mail. But if it's going to California, you know, it's gonna take forever media mail to get there. So you might as well ship it first class and make sure your customer's happy on something like that. Hey, this one is going out to Green Key Vintage, Glenn and Kimberly. And they say, hello, thanks for the great videos. We are new sellers and have learned a ton from your videos. I don't know what I'm teaching out there. I don't think it's all that much. I'm just kind of showing you what sells. But thank you, that's very kind of you. We need one of these to put in our office and to get the sales moving. Keep the awesome content coming and thank you. Green Tree Vintage. And their store's name is Green Key Vintage LLC. Interesting. Okay, so Glenn and Kimberly, thank you. And we hope he gets things moving for you. And we appreciate it. And we appreciate all of you out there. Your kindness and support of me and this channel. That's why I put out so much content. Is because you guys seem to enjoy it. And we appreciate it. It is a lot of work to put out this content. And it is nice to be rewarded with kind words like that and support. And with the financial benefit of making these viewer sales like that. So thank you so much. And thanks for using those affiliate links. And everything you guys do for us. It makes it worth it to me and to my whole family, and we do appreciate it. So thank you again. We're going to go out there and check out some Homeschool Hustler sales. I think there were two today. Another Blaze and the Monster Machines, which is like uh, my new bolo. I don't know. I kind of get addicted to these new things that I didn't know before, and now I find them all over the place. But I'm going to say goodbye to you from in here, like I almost always do. And we appreciate each and every one of you, and we hope you're being kind to each other out there. And we will see you next time. Turner, you had that shirt on yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> you don't change your shirts every day uh, these days? Sometimes I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's still clean, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, what do you got there? A uh, Falcon Blaze. Falcon Blaze. Do you remember how much I told you that sold for? Uh, two, two? <laughs> twenty two ninety five. Okay. Sold for $23. <laughs> okay. So that's a pretty nice little profit on that one. You're going to add to your total. You've got some mm -hmm. good money building up what, in there, don't you? I know what part of the show that Falcon Blaze is on. Oh, what actually, part of the show is it on? It's like he, somebody was stuck in the door. I think it was Zeg, and then he flew over the door and got him. <laughs> Zeg was stuck, <clears throat> and used, Falcon Blaze yeah, threw over the door and got him. Blaze, and like they're like Falcon things <laughs> in the sky so yeah all right well tell people say look for the blazes out there all right yes look for the blazes <laughs> all right buddy thank you bye hey i just realized that this sale out of the homeschool hustler store the cabbage patch pony and it doesn't have the saddle or anything and it's got some markings on it so it's not in great shape this should go for like 15 maybe even 20 bucks in great shape this went for nine plus shipping but they're gone they're out getting ice cream and I gotta get this to the post office. I, I thought maybe I had one more day on it, but I gotta ship this thing out today. So far on the Mount Plushmore sale, $156 into $1,728. Bucks. <laughs>